I think what is needed is it's like uh, that you need career counseling to 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 start with to when you enter studies you need to what opportunities there are within the the higher education settings and you also need to get some information but also about counseling about yourself and what your what the opportunities would for be for yourself. You need also, quite many students need career guidance and counselling during their studies also because things happen in life and and you need to, to may, may be, maybe change your mind so your studies doesn't work for a while or anything. And you also have, need career guidance, counselling support when you finish your studies in, for, the, for the future as well also. So it's kind of entering studies, during the studies and afterwards also, when you finalize. Yes, on the role of career guidance and counsellors in higher education, I think it's quite similar as career guidance in every setting. It's about when you meet individuals, you can work with individual counselling, you work with information activities or for, to support some kind of career learning. It's more about the content also that you that that is separate that is special when you're in the setting that uh, to have knowledge about more specific and general and also about the labor market I think and the relation uh, with the front, with the education and the labor market also that is when you're working with younger people it's the future is further away for here the, for the students it's quite close actually the how you should uh, manage your career transition there is a strong regulation that we are that um, universities are obliged to support broader recruitment and work on that those issues also to support students from uh, non-academic background to finalize their studies and uh, even and uh, students with special needs also that and um, uh, so and uh, career counseling has a, an important role in this work also so i think there there are strong regulations about this uh, from the swedish uh, state also that you are uh, that the high institutions have, have to support a broader recruitment in, in, in universities and, and um, also and to support that. And career counselling has a quite a central role in this also to, to support the, uh, when, uh, when there is an influx of students with a non-academic background and also with special needs or maybe some uh, disabilities also that they are getting that that they are uh, it's possible for, for them to study then it's also important that the career counsel the career counseling is a kind of a link i think between the students and the academic tradition and try to create opportunities for uh, these students and at at our department the career counselors for example are uh, running summer courses for uh, that is about how to study in in the, what are academic studies? So that is what they are. Uh, that's one thing that they are doing also to fulfill this also. But also they work very much individually also to support uh, students. And we also have support systems for writing and uh, also for 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 people for students with some kind of. Um, disabilities on this and, or limitations also. That it is easy accessible for the students also when they want to enter studies that they can because I think many you can have information systems and you supply you uh, you uh, you provide uh, um, E, some information on the website or whatever, but, I but there are many people that they need to talk and to find out, to, help, to get help to interpret this information also and to relate them, it to themselves. So, so I think that you can provide different modes of career counselling also and it's easy accessible and I think that you have, if you provide 
career guidance and counseling. It's both to enter studies and to finalize studies and, and, and to go pass through this education system and also to, to have support with the future after the studies. If you have that, that is the best, I think that is a good practice, I think, with the universities that provide that different uh, opportunities for career guidance and counseling. It depends, of course, on, um, on the institution. That is, it can be very, it differs, of course, what they can do. But I think in general terms, to think about how do we uh, support the, the development of our students' career management skills also. I think that is, how do we support them to deal with career transitions in relation to their education and to the future also? Do we provide anything at all or do we support them or, or do they just pass the education and then we say goodbye, here, here's your exam or do we uh, put them on, uh, <laughs> sort of equip them with a career management dress <laughs> or whatever you can call it or suit or so. I think that is, I think that is the most important issue and I think it's, it could be very valuable for institutions to think in terms of career management skills and to identify the processes around this also to support because this, these are the central questions for people today. How, would I, how will I um, uh, make my future?